We're at East Street 101. Uh, Corey's Mercantile was located uh, on the corner behind me. Uh, Mr. Corey and, and uh, Lily uh, and their two sons came from Lebanon in 1925. And he was our uh, clothier for many, many years. In fact, for over 60 years, uh, Corey's had a clothing store. Uh, Ida Truex remembers uh, Mr. Corey, Sam, very well. And uh, when in the 30s, uh, she came over some one August to go ahead and outfit her youngsters for school, two boys and two girls, she said, well, Mr. Corey, I don't have any money. What can you do? He said, don't worry about it. I'll put you on credit. When you get the money, just pay me. And so, you know, Mr. Corey was just that way. But that's the way that people were in those days because money was tough to get. And uh, you did barter, you, you did cash, okay, but uh, still, uh, there were uh, various ways of getting goods, not only with cash. The other thing that uh, occurred at that time was that um, Mr. Corey was robbed three times. Unfortunately, that wall over there, that brick wall, was very, be very easy to crash through, and it happened three times. The last time, Mr. Corey said, it's not going to happen again. So with Ed Corey, his son, his oldest son, they stayed in the building for one year. And they decided at that time, uh, after one year, they said, well, uh, this, is, uh, this is too much. Uh, we can't do this anymore. So they moved ahead and uh, moved on to the bicycle shop in the middle of the, of the block. And Mr. Corey encouraged the um, uh, owners of the, of the merchants uh, that had stores to go ahead and get a night watchman. And so we didn't have any more break-ins anymore. Uh, the um, Corey uh, clothing store moved four times. The last time they moved was out at Ralph's Mall. And um, uh, that was uh, probably in the, I would say in the uh, 80s, something of that, of that nature. And uh, the two boys were, who were handling the store couldn't meet the lease. It was just too expensive. So we lost our clothing store and uh, we lost uh, a great deal of, um, of a tradition uh, in, in, in that particular store feature. All right, we're at Corey's Mercantile again. Uh, and this is the wall that was inundated by the robbers. Uh, it was an easy thing to do and apparently uh, they found out very quickly the first time through and, and I guess suggested to other people <laughs> that it's a possibility. Fortunately enough, Mr. Curry had good credit from Los Angeles. They set him up every time he had that particular problem.